What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my Scorpio kisses, mm -hmm. I love you guys to the moon and back. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping, what's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate it. To my enchanted energy babes, what's up, what's up, what's up? Thank you so much, guys, for shopping with me at www.enchantedenergy.com. The reviews are coming in. Everything is good. So go over there and shop with me. I'm steady getting that uh, website together, guys. I'm slicing some of the prices as well. Um, you know, if you go over there and purchase something and you're one of my members, let me know so I can put some extra things, some extra tub candy or an extra um, like sample in the box for you, okay, in your order. All right, guys, and again, like I said, if you have a weird thing about doing business over the internet or whatever, and you like to go through Cash App, PayPal with this, email me. We can talk. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere you got Scorpio placements in your chart, grab your booga. <laughs> grab your booga. Grab your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, whatever it takes, Scorpio, to stay tapped into these energies like we always do around about this time. You should see an ad play. Let it play so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube for about a minute or so. Everything else you need to know is in the description box below. To all you guys who donate, subscribe, join, share my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Peace and prosperity to each and every one of you guys. All right, Scorpio, let's get into the messages here. Somebody, I feel like somebody's upset that they plan didn't work. Somebody wasn't able to trick you this time like they were the last time. I'm also hearing like you were ahead of the blow. You got ahead of the blow. You dodged a bullet. What's the messages here? So the first energy out says, hold on, let me turn this on. Do not disturb. I am so sorry, Scorpio. Do not disturb. All right. So the first energy says, men are victims too. Why should I give a damn about someone who doesn't show me love back? So my divine um, masculine, I feel like you're fed up with some type of situation. Yeah, whack. Child children don't like your partner. Wow, Scorpio. Okay. So, like I said, I feel like it's the energy of you not being, not doing what somebody want to do the fuck to do, and it's just like. You know, everything points towards you and this person not being together anyway because this ain't your person. This is somebody who's pretending to be a soulmate or pretending to be somebody very instrumental in your life when really they're breadcrumbing you here. This could be a divine masculine. Don't have to be flip, switch the roles. But men are victims too at times. Okay, what else? This person could be somebody you wouldn't normally date. <laughs> and that's why your children think they whack like feel like they think this person corny or just whatever this is it says equal give and take relationship yeah I think you're moving moving on to something more passionate something more beautiful um, something that's definitely reciprocated here it says toxic narcissist drug addictions alcohol bad parent refuse to do the work to get better yeah i feel like that's who you're leaving behind and i feel like that's what brings this beautiful union in for your divine masculine here yeah it says religious beliefs affecting the relationship yeah it just seems like it seems like now that you're realizing there's better for you now that you realize that you've settled for this person i feel like you know Everything is affecting the connection. I feel like this. I feel like everything was already affecting the connection, but I just feel like Scorpio, you've had some type of awakening or some type of reality check or some shit like that. Yeah, health problems. Something. Something happens here that thrusts you forward. It always thrusts you forward. 
I feel like this person could even be getting sick or something like that. This person could pass or just pass if they have my condolences, but it was to move you forward. As harsh as that sounds, it's like Scorpio. You got to start being tapped in with God truly, not just say you are because it won't have to get this far. You know, when we tie these people up in our purpose and they're no longer indebted to us or we're no longer indebted to them, it, it, it's beginning to be dangerous now because things are wrapping up. On the bottom of the deck, it has justly, justice, falsely accused. I will not be a victim of your character assassination. I know what and who I am and what I stand for. I will not be moved. Yeah. It's like you had enough. <laughs> this person, you know, you're, you're really coming to the realization that this person has nothing to offer you, never did, never wanted to. Um, and everybody else seen it except you, Scorpio, is what I'm getting. And I, and I just feel like it had to run its course. What had to run this course? Let's get some more messages here. That's what I'm hearing. All right. So men are victims too. Or men, or this man is trying to play victim. Yeah, look at the first card that turned over trouble. Nicknames you. Okay, so this person is is trying to use reverse psychology. This person needs validation. That's all the fuck this is. This person having a pity party right now. Things shit ain't going their way like it normally do with Scorpio. It's just not happening no more. And this person got to accept that they're, they're not a victim. They just lazy as fucking don't want to do the work. They trouble, Scorpio. It's time to go towards this faded union here. Yeah, toxic. Poison. Another another indication that this person has stayed too long. Or you have. Take it how it resonates. This person is far from a victim. This person is a player, a manipulator. <clears throat> and they love to chase... Yeah, they got, they caught up now though. Either this person got caught up, caught feelings with you. Um, really when they came to steal or take a breadcrumb from you. Or this person is getting caught up in their shit and you finding out that they cheating. On top of all the other toxic shit that they done took you through. Is what I'm getting here. And this person trying to play victim now. And it's like, it ain't working, bitch. You ain't, you ain't never been a victim. Scorpio, you was a victim in this. Alright, tell me why Wack is here. Child or children don't like partner. I feel like the children don't like him or whoever this family or close friends don't like him because they don't, they, don't, they don't send out the vibe that they want to be in a committed relationship or that they genuinely like children. Everything with this person seems orchestrated. And everybody is picking up on it except you until now. It says, yeah, this is it. It is what it is. Now you're seeing. You're seeing this person for what it really is, this situation. For a lot of you Scorpios, this was really, you know, like... Started because of sex, hot ass sex, like the need for you to have sex after like being out of a relationship. Yeah, over it, tired of drama. You're just done, Scorpio. You leveled up. When it comes to love, if it ain't right, you just assume not have it. You okay with being single? You okay with being alone? Yeah, standing your ground, ready for the battle, defending yourself. Like you realizing alone is a good, peaceful ass place these days. Especially if you look back where you, you know, the, the situation you just leaving that was so toxic and controlled by whoever this narcissist is that wants you to stay and, and continue to be a part of it. And it's like, nah, you're moving on to an equal, equal give and take relationship, period. That's what's in the forecast for you, Scorpio. It's going to happen, period. Like, and whoever this is that's in the way trying to stop, they're going to have health problems. Car accidents, like shit gonna happen. They got to move out the way. You're standing your ground. You're ready for battle. You know, you know you've been through hell and back, and you're not accepting any excuses for somebody just for a lousy ass lay or a good fucking lay. They caught up. You over it. All right. Clarify equal give and take. Somebody just somebody know you worth equal give and take. That's that. That's my whole thing. It's not that you failed at giving it to me. It's the fact that you failed at giving me what I gave you back and the fact that you don't feel like I'm worth that shit. Yeah, on give and take, you predicted this shit, Scorpio. 
You intuitively knew that you was gonna have to at some point leave this connection. <clears throat> and now look, unpaid bills, now that your energy gone, now that you remove yourself, your finances from the situation, this person's sinking slow. All the bills are piling up. I'm hearing it ain't take this bitch for 60 days. For they ass to be, you know, damn near homeless and needing you, Scorpio, but talking shit all the while and breadcrumbing you. Yeah, on this give and take relationship, it's a perfect match. You're moving on to your perfect match, your purpose partner, what I said earlier. And they, they, they're they stuck back here with unpaid bills and third party karmic situations that don't want shit to do with them now that Scorpio energy is gone. I feel like too, half of, that, half of the attraction with these third party motherfucking hoes and niggas is... The fact that they want they, the the energy and vibe, the residue they get off of this person just from you, just from them being in your life, you being in their life. That's the vibe these people getting. That's the energy they picking up on. And then once they get with this person, they realize they ain't the vibe. Once you leave, they realize that vibe left with your ass, Scorpio. Stop downplaying your position, like for real. You mean way more than what these people trying to act like. Clarify toxic. Toxic, narcissists, drug addictions, alcohol, bad parent, refuse to do the work to get better. Yeah, that's who they are. And they trying to make you think you somebody else. It's like, nah, I got a perfect match. You just ain't fucking it. So you got venting, talking about your issues. Yeah, I feel like you finally speaking out to somebody, a family member, or this is you going to talk to a lawyer or a judge, telling them, you know, seeing what your options are here, because it's, it's over. This person won't change. You're pulling pregnant, morning sickness, okay? So somebody could be finding out that, that they're pregnant, yeah, by this person. Envy is here. I feel like you really hate that shit, but I feel like it's all orchestrated. It's all a part of the plan. Anything going on with this person now, it was orchestrated because it's time for them to go. This person envies you. They're jealous of you. This person refuses to look at you as equal give and take. They just don't feel like you're worth it. And this new person do, and it's like you're gone. Religious beliefs affecting the relationship. I feel like this is more like morals with this religious belief shit. Like, this person think they can just be a player and cheat and do all they want to and they married. And your, your thing is, if you want to be that, be fucking single. Don't be married to me. Because the shit ain't going to go right. Yeah, red lipstick... Stays evidence of cheating. What I said, it's just how y'all move differently. Like you ain't finna sleep around. That's all this person ever fucking do. They're a player. They love to chase. They already got you going viral. Something is going viral, Scorpio, and I believe this is something that has your name attached to it. it it's a good viral, cause I feel like when you release this negative energy and you go towards it, you could be dating somebody who's in the public eye. When you leave this situation, y'all could be a spotlight couple. Yeah, been sleeping on the couch. You already out the door, Scorpio, with this fool you with. I feel like something goes viral before you leave this situation. <laughs> on health problems, deep cleaning needed. Yeah, so somebody could have found out they got COVID or got something where you really need to, like, mask up or glove up when you, whenever you go to the hospital to see this person. This could be very significant. But this person could get very ill, down, sick before you leave. And most people are going to think you should stay with this shit. And it's like, nah, keep moving, Scorpio. Cloud nine high off life and love. Keep moving towards your balance. Keep moving towards your north. Like, you can't build your life worrying about somebody else who ain't trying to do the work. Somebody who is depressed and trying to give you this pity party. See, he's depressed. I can't make this shit up. Keeping it to himself. Till it done damn near killed him, about to kill him. Somebody could be, um, somebody could have had a stroke of a heart or a heart attack. This person is very stressed and depressed. But on the outside, they make you think they're outgoing, they're witty, they're adventurous, da 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 da. No, you just a fucking high price whore. That's what this person is. They're a high price whore. These women they sleeping around with, or men they sleeping around, they don't they don't mind throwing throwing around a lot of money to sleep with their ass. Still dating, keeping options open. That's your person after you leave. That's the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, investigating, aggressive. Just be very careful. This person could try to be aggressive with you when they find out that you're really gone. 
you know, for some of you Scorpios, but this person is going to suffer some type of health issue, a stroke, a heart attack. And I'm also hearing, like, this person too young for this to happen to them. Like, this person could be in their late 30s, early 40s. Even though this person won't do the work to get better, it's like God going to send them, send something that's going to sit their ass down. Where they'll have time to deal with this shit. Where they'll have time to face themselves is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see. Clarify men are victims too. This person got caught and they're trying to play victim. This person trying to act like they can't stop hoeing because the hoes won't stop approaching them. This person really think highly of their body, how they look. This person very superficial you dealing with, Scorpio. Is what I'm getting here. All right, clarify men are victims too. The will of fortune. Yeah, I feel like this was a life a life lesson. This was something you had to learn, Scorpio. I mean, and and this person too. Cause, but I feel like you were the end all with this person. Like they, the book stopped here with you with this person. I feel like and everything is being restored back in your life. Like I feel like a lot of unexpected um ha uh happiness and joy coming towards you. People that used to scorn you and people who used to say fucked up shit about you, now they coming towards you. They want some type of relationship and I feel like with the will of fortune being the first card out, I feel like everything that's happening now has already been orchestrated by source and all you need to do is move forward. The page of wands a lot of good news. I feel like you're feeling very optimistic, Scorpio. I feel like you're having a lot of creative, a lot of creative ideas right now. You're fearless. You're playful. I feel like this new love comes in and just kind of like sets you free, so to speak. Yeah, the King of Wands. This is somebody who's very much like yourself. They're a go getter. This is somebody they know what they fucking want. They don't play games. They're very optimistic like you are and fearless as well. Because that page of wands is just like a watered down version of the king of wands. You know, you just start learning this person. This person been a boss is what I'm hearing. Just like you, Scorpio. They're more action oriented. They about passion. But this person is very honest and open when it comes to you. Yeah, look. The lover's card is here. So this person wants more than just a one night stand with the Wheel of Fortune being here, the King of Wands, the Page of Wands. This person wants a family with you. This person doesn't, they, they feel like they don't have to look no further. Like period. They're, they're seeing the portrait. They see Mona Lisa. This is, this is where they want to be. You're their north. Why Scorpio? Because you found your north. That's what this is. When you find your self-love, which is your north node, your love for yourself, when you're expressing yourself at the 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 highest vibration of of your capability then you know that's when this these things that's when the universe can send it in that's when it rushes in clarify whack children don't like your partner they don't have to either yeah the queen of cups somebody feel like Somebody somebody knew you were too nurturing for this connection. Somebody, the people, everybody around you, like I said, realized this person was just taking advantage of you because of how emotionally invested you were, how healing you are, how sensitive and nurturing you are. And you're so, like, emotionally mature, and, and it's on purpose. It's like, in any situation you, be, you go in, Scorpio, you're going to be the emotional mature one. I'm just saying, like, whatever going on with this immature person, like, you, if both of y'all even immature, you're going to be the most immature out of the fucking group. That's just all I'm saying. The Knight of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person tried their best to be strategic. Scorpio, you tried everything you could for to make this last or work. You had patience. I feel like this person ruined your reputation by sleeping around. You still accepted it and you're more conservative. You know, you keep your business to yourself. But yeah, I feel like you forgave this person over and over again. I feel like, you know, you're done. The Nine of Swords is in the reverse. Enough restless nights. Enough of, uh, of the guilt. You feeling like maybe it was something you could have did. Or maybe something wrong with you. Or maybe you're not good enough. Enough with all that. 
you've gotten over the disappointment or whatever this is. Yeah, the fool card is coming out in the reverse. You realize this connection been holding you back. And you realize something about you and this person's beliefs is what crossed you up and made you not take the uh, leap of faith that you should have took a long time ago and left this piece of shit alone here. Because I feel like you realized early on this person was not trying to be contractual. They're not trying to be domesticated. This person needed something. Okay? This person needs validation all the fucking time. And Scorpio, I feel like you haven't been giving them validation, but you've been trying. Scorpios have a bad case of building people up. Like we do. We, we, we find broken people and we just want to fix you. And that's because we you're mirroring what we just went through. And it's like we want, we're so anxious to show that love and that dedication to show you, look, don't do all that shit. This is what you need to do. And people always think Scorpio just coming from a, a place of control. And it's not. We're coming from a place of testimony. From brim fire, brim, brimstone and fire. That's where we coming fucking from. Equal give and take. Clarify that for Scorpio. That's in the middle of your, of your reading. You're very concerned with that now. Whereas you, you, you might have wasn't, you may be single or you just wasn't really like concerned that much with this person and give and take because of who you were with at the time. Like you just knew you weren't gonna get that shit. You 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 instinctively knew that person couldn't offer you that. But the world card is here. I feel like this cycle is broke. You're moving on to bigger and better things. You're no longer selling. You're standing your ground, and you're ready to fucking fight for this nine of pentacles. You're ready to fight for it. You're ready to fight for your freedom, your independence. Your wisdom is telling you it's time to go. <laughs> The four of wands is here. I mean, your ancestors are telling you you have everything you need to be stable, to be prosperous. I feel like a lot of travel is coming your way. Yeah, and it brings you peace. The temperance card is here. Meeting new people, traveling abroad, eating food, um, having drinks. I feel like God is positioning you to be in rooms that you never even thought you'd be in Next year this time, Scorpio, be honest with you. You're being led. You're being spiritually led somewhere, not guided, not nudged. Somebody actually holding your hand and, and taking you to these infinite possibilities. There's no way for you to miss. That's why equal give and take relationship is here because that's very important to Scorpio. If Scorpio got somebody loving them right, the sky's the limit. I'm hearing either way you going, Scorpio, up. Toxic narcissists, drug addictions, alcohol, bad parent. Yeah, this person, that's how they deal with their shit. They drink, get high, party, and sleep with sleep with other people. You, on the other hand, Scorpio, it's like you bore your burdens. You carried them till you couldn't carry them no more. And then you got free. You, you surrendered this shit to God, which you should have done it a long time ago. This person here, they... You know, they really feel as though they're orchestrating everything. They're in control of what's going on in their life and somebody else's life. And that's not it. So they, they would rather steal your peace. They'd rather you lose focus. They'd rather you keep going and burn out. And they just like continue their life with the fruits of your labor. And it's like, nah, the Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, this was an ultimate betrayal finding out about this cheating or... Finding out that this person just made you promises they knew in the beginning they were never intended on keeping. Yeah, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Because for one, this person like to sleep around. Yeah, the Page of Cups, they're real friendly. And they don't think shit wrong with it, whether they're in a relationship or not. This person don't view relationships like how you view relationships for real. And that's your problem. Like, this person feel like if, as long as they take care of home, you shouldn't worry about what they do. They feel like maybe you'll put them on the couch a couple of nights or whatever. Then they back in the bed with you again. But really, the problem is they're depressed. They're running from their demons. They have low self-esteem. Um, this person has just lost their compass. They, they don't know where the fuck they're going and what they're doing next. And they really don't care. And they're keeping all this shit to themselves, which is making it worse. Religious beliefs affecting the relationship. They don't want you to see them, Scorpio. 
They say you see too much. Yeah, the six of cups coming out in the reverse. They don't want you to see their past, their future, none of that shit. They, whoever this is, they know you clocking them now. Y'all had a strong bond once, but it's like, it's over with now. And you don't want to mend anything or fuck with this person. Yeah, the two of pentacles in reverse, you're just not interested in the juggling. The back and forth, the, the broken promises, the shit they know they can't do. Yeah, the six of wands, you're moving forward. Because I feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming your way that wouldn't have normally come your way had you stayed in this connection. Because this person is very controlling. This person does not want you to network with other people. And I feel like that's where your success is coming from, Scorpio. The only time they want you networking is when you're networking with them. And they want you taking care of them. This, whoever this is, they have a strange disposition when it comes to love. They don't understand how this shit work. And I feel like, Scorpio, you tired of trying to show them, explain it to them, break it down like you're done. With the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, Temperance, and the World card, you, you, you want to be single. You're okay with being alone. You're not lonely. Okay? I feel like you're very... You're able to move around like you want to, too. Yeah, look, the page of swords. I feel like you're doing a lot of travel here. What's the advice here for Scorpio? All right. So the first energy you got out is the high priestess. I feel like... I feel like it's time for you to use that sacred knowledge that you've gathered over all the years and past lives, the spiritual wisdom, um... Because I'm feeling like that's, what, that's, that's what's going to balance you. You speaking your truth with the king of swords. Being able to stand your own ground. Being sufficient. Being ready for battle if need be. Like you just not letting nobody come in and infiltrate no more. That's where you at with it. Like you're going to call a spade a spade and you ain't going to waste time. The ace of swords is here. Because you feel like your truth should line up with the truth of somebody you're about to go into a union with, right? And that's what it is. The Queen of Pentacles is here. It's like, like I said, you're the mature one. You're grounded. No matter where you put Scorpio at, they're the best in the business. They're the best out of the group. If, if they're not in the beginning, they'll end up being that way. You're not going to stop Scorpio's grind, just period. I feel like you're, you're going to be a very good, astute businesswoman. Like, I feel like you ran shit for people all your life. Now you're running this shit for you. And people love you, Scorpio, because you're down to earth. You're practical. You're very successful, but you're a social butterfly. You're not one of those people who just, like, get further and further away from, from what's making you happy. And then your overall energy, of course, is the three of wands because a lot of expansion is coming your way, Scorpio, in at this point, you're being led to it. There's nobody that can stop it. They're trying though. They don't want you. They don't want you to live this life of contentment and peace and harmony. I just cut the deck on twin flames. They want to be able to do what they want to do and come back to you whenever they want to, and that's over with. I feel like your dreams are coming true to the point where this person can't even reach you no more. You don't have an international phone. They don't have one with them. You're moving forward. You're moving closer to, to your dreams. Guadalupe <laughs> is who sings that. Let's see. What are the additional messages? You've been patiently waiting to explore, Scorpio. You've been, you've been on the bottom five for damn near all your life, and now you're in the top one. And God is saying you deserve it. And you can sleep at night and know that this is God. This ain't nobody helping you. This ain't nobody getting you there. This is just you and God. Your overall energy is talking, interested, awaiting messages, text calls, emails, taking more, talking more. Yeah, I feel like your business is about to expand. It's taking off. So are you. Um, this is another transition. Seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up and date, third party temptation. Mask, hiding true feelings, retaining and delude, gaslight and personify. Yeah, that's the energy you're leaving. It's still showing up. Make sure you're releasing all of this so the, so the good can come in, the fortune can come in. It says, girl with a snake, charmed or used, enabled boundaries. Yeah. Love, unconditional love, self-love and wholeness, affection and attraction, selfness is what I said. When you start loving yourself, this other shit, it, it'll start seeming foreign to you. It don't, it don't sit right. 
And then then true love actually comes in. Blowing kiss, unconditional love again. You're mirroring it right here. Giving and receiving it, giving and receiving fairness and love, affection return. Look at this. These energies are almost identical. As soon as you leave this piece of shit you with. Unconditional love is just going to flow. And you don't have to figure this love out. It's yours. For the taking. God said I want you to know this unconditional love is me. You're also feel, pulling picture. Because I feel like you're feeling nostalgic. You miss this person. Because where you're going and where you're at right now with the universe. This this going with the flow. This flow of prosperity, health and wealth and all this good shit. You wanted this person to be right there beside you. But you found out some things along the way that just wasn't allowed for this person to stay. And sources moving you upward. So I feel like, Scorpio, you could be feeling some type of way because of your expansion. Your expansion is different from others. Others, and, and God was moving you the same way forward. But now God sees the needs to, to, to hijack you in dimension now. Dimension-wise now is you. The frequency now is you. Like the you and God's love language, your spiritual love language has changed. Okay? Just period. And this shit got to change. So you're feeling nostalgic because it's something you've been doing a while. But God said once this love, unconditional love sets in and you decide to surrender this ex and move forward in your life without him, all the good shit will start rushing in. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, like, subscribe. Join the membership, guys. The Scorpio Kisses, I love you there. And to all my enchanted energy, my, en <laughs> my enchanted energy babes, hey. I love you guys so, so much. My bare beauties, whatever you want to call yourselves, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that go over to Enchanted Energy and shop. I'll see you in the next video.